I know it's like such a cliche, but nothing does prepare you for walking out on those stages and just like just the roar of the crowd, so loud, like the passion is just like it's tangible. It's been something else. It's been an amazing tour. somewhere on the outskirts of Bedford in the countryside at a secret location outside a big, I don't know what it is, aircraft hangar, bunker, something. And we're doing three days of production rehearsals. It's been about three months off tour of just working on this um, this tour, all the visuals, the quadraphonic sound, so 4.1 surround sound basically. Um, we've had to create a whole new set, so it's been yeah, a lot of work. It's been the most un-rock and roll job, or part of the job at least. It's just been sitting in front of computers coding, basically. Yeah, so we have three days of production rehearsal. Um, we're on the second today. We've been planning this show for about the last four months, probably. Kind of ideas <laughs> of it have been floating around since the f first Minesweep tour, which was mm. February last year. We'd always wanted to do just a few big shows and had ideas of this big, grand production. And for the last countless tours, Rouse been bringing up the idea of um, the quadraphonic sound. Finally, we've just been able to get our teeth into you know, an opportunity where we can actually do it. It's quite scary because you never want to lose that, that sort of gritty, sweaty, communal vibe of, of a small venue, um, the venues we, we sort of grew up playing. And we're lucky enough to be a band that's still sort of growing, if you like, and we're, this is our biggest headliner ever. Um, and we didn't want to go into these rooms and, and sort of have it feeling like a soulless, big, cavernous place, you know, that loses all the atmosphere, the vibe. Um, and I, I think any, anything that, gets away from that sort of sterile venue feel to, to something that like we're all together in this this sort of not quite tense but but certainly not comfortable like a lot of music is is too comfortable and, and we don't want it we don't want to be involved in that we want music that makes people think that keeps people on the toes keeps people feeling alive feeling a, uh, a plethora of emotions that's our goal This tour's been fucking majestic. It's been incredible. Um, just so surreal. It's venues that we, I mean, we've played most of these venues, but always supporting someone else or, you know, a festival or an all day or something like that. So to be going back into these arenas and like headlining them, it's, yeah, just mad, absolutely mad. Um, you, you can only sort of prepare so much mentally for these sorts of things. What? Good. Um, no. We're at Rail Cherokee Lodge and there's a new MIDI transmitter that, that we've just got today on there. So I think we just... Oh, I'm not so worried about it. We should definitely try it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, we need... Yours is an two right? Yeah. We did um, a few like venue visits, so we checked out like the Nottingham venue and the Cardiff venue, which were two of the biggest ones, and then Ali Pali uh, tonight. Um, and that sort of, so that gave us sort of a level, was like, okay, all right, this is what we're in for, and, like sort of dipping our toes in the water, if you like, just checking the places out and scoping them, doing a little recce, you know, sound desk here, lighting here, and all that kind of thing. So that, that kind of gave us uh, a certain level of expectation. 
It's strange, we've never been a particularly like ambitious band. We're not these like guys striving for success or like, you know, have these aspirations that we want to tick off. Like we're just we're just really happy to play music and to put everything into the shows, whether it's energy or production value or, or every, anything like that. Um, and we've always not shied away, it's almost like I don't know, I just I'm so sick of seeing the headline of like the band saying, yeah, we're the biggest band in the world, we're going to take over the world, and all these like grandiose statements, and like, I'm just bored of all that, and I think a lot of people are, and what we're really into is like, just making sure our show keeps getting better, and keeps getting bigger, and more interesting, and more diverse, like musically as well. I think if this tour has perhaps given us a bit, I still, I still shy away from the word ambition, but it's given us a bit more, um, perhaps I just confidence, I suppose. We're not just that sweaty, grimy sort of derivative of punk band. Um, I think we're, we've got the ability now, we've got like the power, the, the confidence to sort of be something bigger, which is, hearing me say it just sounds weird, but. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, th there's there there has like been a genuine difference, I think, in the pre-show feeling. Just like the momentum, it's just so exciting. I think I don't know whether it's just the sheer size of the venues and the amount of people or what, but um, when you hear a crowd that big. You, you, you cannot help but have that sort of biological reaction, you know, where the hairs start to sort of stand on end and you, um, it's almost like you go into tunnel vision, you're just, you sort of, it's almost quite meditative, you're like completely in the moment, you're just like living from one second to the next. Your, your mind is silent but like feels like it's short circuiting at the same time, I don't know, it's really hard to explain. Yeah. 